Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here, and I am super excited to take a look at the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, the Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket from the original Ant-Man movie. So, of course, we all wanted this for the Yellow Jacket, definitely. And a lot of us who really liked the original design of the Ant-Man figure, like myself, and were always disappointed with the original figure that they gave us, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually excited for both of these figures, but I think, you know, of course, a lot of us were definitely pumped to get a yellow jacket. I'm a little late to the game to this just because I could never find him anywhere in my area. The places that did have him, they wanted like 50, 60 bucks. So I just kind of waited and uh, got it on the Disney store website as I was ordering um, other Christmas gifts and got it for like 34 bucks. So not too bad. I think even like with shipping, I'm still paying 20 bucks a figure, but um, went ahead and picked it up. I'm super excited to finally have it. Packaging is that big, you know, Marvel's first 10 years. You got both, both figures clearly displayed. You have the uh, uh, Ant-Man there. On the one side, you got 2015 Ant-Man, a little bit of a read-up. Get that focus for those of you who want to read that. This is number eight. On the other side, of course, we have that picture that kind of makes that uh, collage of the big picture if you get all of them. On the back here, you know, little Ant-Man bio, little yellow jacket bio, little Ant-Man movie poster. 2015 bottom of the packaging top of the packaging you got that kind of like embossed Marvel Studios but yeah I'm really excited to pop these open and take a closer look at the okay and out of the packaging this is what we get we get two awesome figures I'm really digging both of these figures I mean this is what we should have got with the original movie Hasbro but now now that they've really upped their game um, you know we get the perfect Ant-Man from the original movie and then we get a really really nice yellow jacket we do get an additional um, Scott Lang head you know Paul Rudd and this is cool because this is actually different than the one that we got with the Ant-Man vs. Wasp so it's a different you know sculpt than that kind of like cocky smiled one so that's cool so you can you know mix and match on your figures if you like we do get two of course little tiny miniature shrunk down versions of yellow jacket which I believe we got before or something like this I know I've I got something that looks like this in, in um, one of my bins somewhere came with one of the original figures or one of the ants or something like that and you get a little tiny ant man as well but yeah these are just really small but not bad for how small they are a little bit of paint on there but um yeah I mean these, these would be lost probably in no time but let's take a look at ant man first and then we'll take a look at the yellow jacket now, uh, in my opinion, this is my favorite Ant-Man suit and helmet. So I'm super excited to finally have a nice Ant-Man with that original helmet, you know, all closed. Because I think a lot, we were all bummed when we got this guy. You know, come on, why would you give, him, give us an Ant-Man with, without the full mask, or at least give us the option? But I think Hasbro did a really nice job with the helmet. I mean, it could be a little bit more detailed, but for what it is with having the closed mouth and everything, they did a nice job. I mean, unfortunately, we just get paint for the eyes. No, we don't have any, like, lens or anything in there. But it still looks good. I think the sculpt is all there. It's decent, um, you know, all the way around. And then the big thing is the rest of the suit looks really good. I mean, they really stepped, stepped it up from this original version, which was kind of like plain and flat. Even though this guy had a lot, lot better washes in him. I really wish we could have got some of that wash, you know, carried over to this version. But um, we do get the nice kind of textured detail, you know, textured uh, sculpting on the suit. So, yeah, it might even be the same... Might even be the same exact buck, honestly. It very well could be the same same buck just redone, which I think it is actually. Now that I'm looking at it closely. Yeah, they just upgraded it, I believe. I thought maybe the uh, crotch piece was a little bit different, but we get a lot a little bit glossy, glossier black that I think just kind of throws it off with this newer one. But yeah, it looks to be pretty much the same sculpt same, even same hands but 
anyway going back to this uh this one it does look really good we get some kind of tech you know we get that textured sculpt in here really nice job on all of the you know silver chrome parts the belt looks good all the way around on the back really nice job on all of these sculpted areas it is a little bit plain on the back but we do get a little bit of sculpt sculpted you know textured patterns on his elbow pads and everything and then down here get a nice job on the little wrist guards and the rest of the pants are pretty much kind of plain we got some pretty decent clean paint here for the lines going down the knee pads have a little bit of sculpted to them um, he does feel like he's a little bit loose already which is a little bit of a bummer down to his feet which are pretty much you know not bad so I mean overall for me this was definitely the Ant-Man that I wanted you know from the get-go so I'm super happy uh, it is a little bit unusual that they use the same buck. That's surprising. But, I mean, it's still a decent body and it works for Ant-Man. And I feel like this is what we should have got, you know, in the first place. <clears throat> Let's take the mask off and put the Paul Rudd head on and see how that looks. Or the Scott Lang head. I think that looks okay. That looks good. And you can have him, you know, holding the mask. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. And again, you know, you can even swap on. Uh, oh, I was gonna say you could, but yeah. Okay, so the one that we got with the Ant Man and Wasp does fit on him, but it is, you know, a little bit low on the neck. But you can actually get that to fit on there. It just doesn't snap on there. So that's kind of unfortunate. Now I wonder if we can get the original. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll we'll. We'll do some swapping around. But um, overall, yeah, it's a really nice looking Ant-Man figure. Even though it's the same buck, we get a little bit better texture on the outfit. Uh, again, we get that original mask that I think looks really good. I just wish they would have added a little bit more wash like they did on the first one. But yeah, I'm definitely pleased to finally have you know the full helmeted um, Ant-Man in the collection instead of having that open mouth one. And I even prefer this one over the you know, Ant-Man vs. Wasp one, or the Silver War version as well. So this is always kind of my favorite, so that's why I'm kind of gushing over a little bit more. But, um, yeah, as far as articulation, it's pretty much going to be the same. You got your full rotation, nice down, uh, not so much up really at all. You don't really get a lot of side to side. The arms hinge out about that much. Get full rotation, you get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, nice range there, swivel, and hinge at the wrist, back and forth hinge. You do have the ab crunch, which gives them a little bit forward, a little bit back. You do have your waist twist right above the belt. Legs, you get about, about that much, kick forward, kick back. You do have a thigh cut in there, which is really tight. Double jointed knees. Uh, nothing at the boot for the foot. You got, you know, the foot that will hinge all the way back. Not so much forward. You might be able to get it a little bit more if you get it up over this kind of, you know, shin guard. And then you have your forward-facing pen that will rock it back and forth. So, you know, you're going to get all of your kind of standard Marvel Legend articulation out of it. So yeah, so let's take a look at the yellow jacket because this guy I think is where you know why everybody wanted to get this two pack. And you know, Hasbro with their amazing marketing team and how they can get us to, you know, buy the same figures over and over again or buy two figures for more than twenty dollars a piece. This is why. Because you know, when they really want to, they can create some great figures and this yellow jacket is a perfect example I mean he just looks great looks really really nice with the black and the yellow now this backpack piece is a separate piece so you can take that off but uh, just taking a closer look at the yellow jacket itself I think they did a great job with the um, helmet I mean it really would have been cool if they would have given us a um, uh, open feature or even a head of the actor but um you know, we actually have translucent lens here, which is what I really like about this. I wish, wish we could have got that with the uh, Ant-Man. But uh, yeah, it looks really great. Head sculpt looks really, really, really great in this guy. I mean, it's a little bit plain in the back and, you know, throughout the other black areas. Not a lot going on. 
but on the yellow parts we do get that really kind of like honeycomb effect uh, sculpted in there so it just looks really really nice now some of the yellows are a little bit different like you get a little bit of hint down here you get like some orange uh, that could just be a paint defect because that's just on that side not on this side but I'm looking at it like this looks a little bit different than this this looks a little bit different than that so could just be different pieces and how they painted it but a uh, great sculpt great stature great proportions with this guy again for him being so plain he just really looks great he really pops um, great detail there I think it's just all this kind of honeycomb effect with the black and the yellow that really makes this guy pop he just looks awesome uh, we get a little bit of detail down here on his feet uh, again we get that really nice you know pattern all throughout his legs he does come with uh, one fist and then one kind of grab open hand again nice sculpt all throughout his uh, wrist yeah this guy just looks great really really cool and then of course we do have his you know uh, backpack accessory which is really cool get some nice kind of sculpting details on this as well it is pretty plain but again with the yellow parts we do get you know nice nice color yellow a little bit sloppy here and there oh, let me get him out of the background so we can focus on this but yeah this is really cool it's just kind of just plugs right in his back but it also has articulation so you do get movement here you get full rotation with the two up at the top uh, you get a little wiggle side to side but I think it's more or less just rotation um, down here we kind of get have hinges that will bring these in and out you know that much and you can also turn these you know all the way around so that's really neat that's really cool and then right here we have a bend so you can bend this part and you can also rotate that part as well and then I believe that's it yeah this, this is all this is all just molded but I mean, you can really kind of bend and pose this thing up quite a bit. So it is really neat that they added that, you know, articulation to this. I got this twisted around, don't I? Yeah, and put this on. It's basically just plugs into his back. And once it is plugged in on his back, it really does look good. Uh, it does take a little bit of finagling if you want to get different poses out of it, but just plugging it in straight away you can you know bend have this come around like I said up here you don't really get much you just kinda get rotation so not a lot but at least with these you can kinda like hinge these up and down bring them forward wrap them all the way around so that's really really neat that they did with what they did with that so very cool yellow jackets definitely looking awesome and I think in scale with the uh, Ant-Man he looks good as well and while we have the two sitting here, let's get some height measurements here. So it looks like Ant-Man is a little under six and a half inches tall. And it looks like Yellow Jacket is a little bit over six and three quarter inches tall. So definitely a lot bigger. And we'll bring in some other Ant-Man. Like here is the um, Ant-Man and Wasp version. And as you can see, that's a totally different buck that they used. A little bit more beefier. Like I said, I, that, that's the one thing that I did not like about this Ant-Man is his head, just, his helmet looks so big. And he's a little bit hard to stand as well. Just like the new one. And then we'll bring in the first Ant-Man movie figure, which we got. Which again, wasn't a bad figure. I really wish we could have got the wash that we did in this guy in this guy but um as you can see they're all pretty much the same height but again i believe these these two share the same body we just you know what we should have gotten and of course we do have two new you know uh scott lang paul rudd heads that as i was showing you you can fit on some and then not others so yeah it doesn't the Ant-Man and Wasp version doesn't want to snap on to this this older buck, but if you wanted to, you could put the you know calm Scott Lang face on the old buck. Let's see about this one. 
Well, this is, oh yeah, that's, that's the smirking version that was supposed to come on this figure. Let's see, can we put... So this is this will probably be too um, too small then. Get him to stand up there. Yeah, it's just too small. I guess if you really wanted to get this head on this body, you could by heating it up, but the ball joint is just too small. But yeah, so the, uh, guys, that was a look at the uh, Marvel Studios first ten years, the Ant Man and Yellow Jacket action figures from the first Ant Man movie. Of course, I mean, this has been out for a while, so, you know. But still, I was excited to finally have it. It's, it's nice to finally get it into the collection since this was the, you know, Ant-Man that I wanted ever since the movie first came out and we originally got that figure. But yeah, that was a look at the two-pack. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next figure review. And I just realized I did not show you the articulation for Yellow Jacket. So let's uh, do that. You get full swivel with the head. You get a little bit of a hinge up and down. Not too bad. Um, I wish you could get a little bit more up. That's about, about as far up as you're going to get. You don't really get any tilt. Uh, you do have the you know hinged shoulder. So you can get his arms pretty much about out that much. That'll go all the way around. Do have a bicep cut do have double jointed elbows which give you decent range do have swivel and hinge at the hand uh you do have a diaphragm cut there or ab crunch you get nice back but you hardly get anything forward at all so that's about the range you get there full waist twist legs kick out about that much kick forward kick back you do have a thigh rotation do have double jointed knees you do have a kind of big, huge ball hinge down there at the ankle, but it allows the foot to go all the way back. Really nice forward. You get the rocker, but it kind of kicks it out at an angle. But yeah, so I mean, you know, the, all the kind of standard articulation you would want in your figures. You know, it almost looks like, maybe that's how I have to go back and look at the source material, but I wonder if this is supposed to be on the outside. You know what I mean? Maybe that was just plain black. I don't know. I'm rambling now. But yeah, I just wanted to get that little bit of articulation in there because I completely forgot during the...